Welcome to Foresight Video 1, creating a C-sharp project and creating a project class. We'll do a couple other things as we go, but that's going to be the main topics. Just going to uh, open up our Visual Studio. And once that's all open, we're going to say File New Project. And the selection that we're going to make is a Windows Form application. So we'll name this, oh, I don't know, Foresight Video 1. And we're going to get this window that comes up. It provides us a form. We'll give it a little more space here. Provides us a form, and the way I have mine laid out may not be the way that you have yours laid out, but uh, I like having the toolbox. I like being able to swap to my data uh, database explorer. I like to have my solution explorer over here, and when I select items up here, I can see the properties immediately. And then when I go to do some debugging, I can see the errors that may or may not happen during uh, the build so that I can fix things as we go. So let's get started anyway. This is our form and we're going to add two text boxes and a button. And the only reason that we're doing this is we're going to give ourselves oh something that uh, we can press to activate the uh, event. We're also going to do the form load and we'll put something in there. And while we're doing this, let's just make these a little bit bigger. I'm going to say make them all the same size. I'll use the uh, formatting. So align lefts to start with. Then we're going to make all the widths the same. That does it really nice. And we might as well also do our vertical spacing. Let's make it even. So it's a nice neat little form here and we'll just pull it in and pull it up. Okay, so there's our whole big form. And we're going to set our events. I usually do this first before I uh, go too far. I just kind of put things in place. So I'm going to double click on the button. That's going to bring us to our code behind the uh, form that we were just looking at. And this is where we're going to write the code that oh I guess it, it, that is activated activated when user presses button so that's kind of what we're going to do in there also we're just going to go right on to the form itself and double click the form and it's going to provide us a form load event in this pretty much the same oh, pretty much the same thing as uh, above but the only difference of course is when the user opens the application All right, so there's our two events. We don't know exactly what we're going to do yet, but uh, we know that uh, when that form loads up, there's going to be something going on. And when we press that button, there's going to be something going on. So our next action is going to be to create our class. And we're going to go over here to our Solutions Explorer. See how I like it? It's already there. I just go over, I right click on my project I say I want to add a new item would be one way to go and it would bring me up this window and uh, I could select whatever I want in this case we're going to select class but they also provide you because classes are so common they also provide you just create a class and it goes right to the right to the window and it already has the class in here and we're just going to call this foresight vid1 so that's going to be our class. And when the uh, when you press OK and the class document comes up, 
they've provided you a, a few items in uh, the using section which are classes that are predefined for uh, many of the uh, actions and operations that we do. So the first thing we're going to do in our class is we're going to provide it a uh, public string variable. Uh, and we'll call it something other than variable, I guess. <laughs> Let's call it uh, the Oh, just my message. That's for sake of anything else. And we'll put semicolon. And then we also need to make a constructor for the class. Uh, no class can be instantiated somewhere else without having a constructor. So uh, the first thing you need to do is make a constructor. Now, there is a little shortcut. Uh, you could go in here and you could do the, the whole uh, public and... Uh, and then the foresight vid and there you go you'd have yourself a constructor that's really all it takes to do it now there is a shortcut which is kinda neat and gains you a, uh, a few keystrokes and that is is that see the C2 the minute that comes up on the IntelliSense if you just tab twice you end up auto generating a constructor now with that that you know it, it's a nice little uh, shortcut so for your information so now anyway what we're gonna do is define something and we're gonna make a little bit we're gonna require there to be a uh, an input of some kind when we set this up and this one will just be message oh, shouldn't have done that and then we're going to say that my message is equal to whatever that message is that they put in so you see how that is this is our variable maybe I should put a little underlining thing here to make it a little more defined in difference but basically what it is, is it says my variable that I created I want it to be equal to whatever is put in when this class is uh, is started in the other form next we are gonna say we also when it starts up we want a message box to come up and say that it is starting class vid1 so let's put a message box in. Ah, not getting it coming up, and everything is providing me with errors. See, it's telling me I'm missing something. What I'm missing is a proper using statement. Because I want to use a message box, that's a Windows form uh, type class or type object. And in order to use that, I need to add in here. So I'm just going to go to the form over here and say using Windows forms. I'm going to copy that, move it up here and say my class is going to be able to use that also. And then now we should be able to say I want to do a message box. And there it is. We'll do dot show. And then we can just simply put in our message. And our message is this is the foresight uh, video one class so that that's there but we haven't used our variable so we are going to add a little something add the video one class and we're going to add uh, is the video one class and the initialized value of my message is then we're just simply going to say plus my message so at the end of it when this shows it's going to have this thing and it will have whatever we put in that we start with 
Okay, so we're going to go over to our form now. And remember, we created a couple things. The first thing that we're going to say is, what do we want it to do when it loads? Well, when it loads, we are going to uh, want it to provide us that class access. So let's do uh, Foresight Vid 1. And I'll just put my class. equals a new and what's it going to equal a new one of? It's going to equal a new foresight vid one and we put but see we still have an error here and why do we oh well that should have been an underscore not a dash and what we'll do here is though we are missing that input so here we're just going to put Bob. So there's our input. We've met our guideline. We've started out a new thing here. And we end up having this whole thing ready to go. And if we ran it right now, we should see a message box, that box that pops up and says, here it is. So we're using the class while we're operating the uh, form, pulling it in, looking at the input. Then our form comes up because we closed out that. So in the next video, we're going to expand on this and we're going to start uh, making some more controls and show you how you move these things from classes into uh, either the form itself or use inputs from the form in order to interact with the classes. So thank you very much. This has been Foresight, video one, creating a project and creating a project class. And we also used it just a little bit. Thank you and hope you enjoyed the video.